So question seven, and this one's on coefficient of friction. So it says a wooden crate of mass 20 kilograms is pulled in a straight line along a rough horizontal floor. So let's take this diagram and modify it to incorporate all the forces. So we've got 20 G, weighing it down, and a normal reaction pushing back up. Also, it's been pulled along the floor, uh, which is rough. So we've got a friction force here, which we're going to call F. So it says a handle is inclined at an angle of alpha to the floor, as shown in figure one, where tan alpha is three quarters. Well, at this point, I'd stop reading, and work out the sine and cos of the angle as well. So this bit of information here, just a little bit of side working. Well, tan alpha is opposite over adjacent. So opposite over adjacent. And we can see that that's a three, four, five triangle. So that means that sine alpha is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, which is three fifths. And cos alpha is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is four fifths. So there, we've got that. Um, so now it says the tension in the handle is 40 newtons. So that's just described in the diagram. The coefficient of friction between the crate and the floor uh, is 0.14. Right, mu equals 0.14. And it says the crate is modelled as a particle and the handle is modelled as a light rod. Using the model, find the acceleration of the crate. Well, we're going to use force equals mass times acceleration. But first of all, we need to do a bit of resolving. So from left to right, if we resolve that way first, taking right as our positive direction, so we've got 40 cos alpha in that direction, in the right direction. So 40 cos alpha take our friction equals mass times acceleration equals 20A. Now we can write that a bit better because we worked out before that cos alpha was 4 fifths. So 4 fifths of 40, 32. So 32 take away friction which when it's at its maximum is equal to mu r and mu we've got is equal to 0.14 so 0.14 r equals 20 a so we've got an equation with two unknowns there we've got r and we've got a so let's now do a bit of resolving upwards so upwards so in the positive direction i.e upwards is r plus 40 sine alpha r plus 40 sine alpha take everything going downwards which is 20 g equals mass times acceleration however in the up direction or the vertical the acceleration is zero it's not moving up nor down it's only moving left or right so therefore we can find out what r is so r equals 20g take and sine alpha was three fifths so three fifths of 40 is 24 so 20g take 24 which is equal to and let's find that on the calculator so 20g take 24 is 172 so r is 172 if we now put it into this formula here so that implies that 32 take away 0 0.14, lots of 172, equals 20A. And that means that A equals 32 minus 0 0.14, lots of 172, all over 20. So 32 take away 0 0.14, lots of 172, over 20 was 99 over 250 or 0.396 meters per second squared so the next part it says the crate is now pushed along the same floor using the handle the handle is again inclined at the same angle and the thrust in the handle is 40 newtons as shown in the figure two below explain briefly why the acceleration of the crate would now be less than the acceleration of the crate found in part a well since the force in the rod is now acting downwards. Act. 
projecting downwards are the normal reaction will be bigger therefore so will friction since there is more of a resist resistive force this implies smaller acceleration that's that part done for more videos like this subscribe to our youtube channel and to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.